We drive without direction or walk without direction. If you drive to a city you have never been without a maps or GPS. We are living in the time where we have maps in our phone uh, and even GPS and navigator. So if you don't have a navigator with you or your phone has no power, you are most likely to drive without direction. Going to any hurry without knowing where you are going. Jesus, in the book of Matthew chapter 9, verse 35 to 38, he saw people and he had mercy on them. He had compassionate on them. He saw people without GPS. He saw people without maps. He saw people without navigator to guide them where, where they are supposed to go, where they are supposed to, to be uh, going and what they're supposed to be doing. The Bible says in, the, in this chapter 9 of Matthew, that verse 35 to 38, Jesus saw the crowd and had compassion. He had mercy on them. And, he's, and he said, he saw them harassed, harassed, like sheep without shepherd. Sheep need guidance. They need to be guided where, how to go back home. They can't take themselves in most cases. Or where to go find a green pasture. The Bible says that in the book of Proverb 29 verse 18 where people have no guides or revelation, they don't have direction or where to go or without guides or without revelation they live recklessly, they drive anyhow, they move without direction, they move without knowing where they are going believe me you, there are so many people who are helpless, many have been made helpless and harassed by the enemy how many have been harassed they are carried they don't move themselves they are moved by alcohol they are moved by smoking the smoking drive them they carry without smoking they carry without drinking they can help their family every money they get is money it's drinking is alcohol is is marijuana others when the money they get is prostitution others every money they get it is gaming doing gambling others they can't move themselves. They are full of stress and depression and mental illness. Others see things that are not there. Fear. False things appearing real. And they are controlled, might controlled by the demonic spirit of mental illness that show things that are not there. Others are programmed to carry murder, to do rape cases, rape things, to rape women. Others are programmed to, to fail other people, to steal people's property. Jesus saw people who are harassed by the devil. The Bible says in John 8 32, if you don't know the truth, if you know the truth, you will not be deceived by the enemy. You will be free from being deceived. The enemy programs people. You may see somebody, we see even in programming the TV, somebody just love killing people. His work, he just enjoyed killing people, murdering. He's programmed by the enemy, but he's not aware. Other people have learned mad walking on the street, correcting rubbish. They were programmed and like sent things and controlled by the enemy. Others are programmed by the enemy just to drink alcohol without knowing. They don't know themselves. They just say, even I see in developing country, the country working hard with the churches to rehabilitate drunkard men who have failed. They can help themselves, not help their family. They are carried by alcohol. They don't know themselves. They have been programmed into alcoholism. Jesus saw the crowd and had compassionate on them. And, and he said, how can we get people to guide them? Where can we get the GPS? How can we get the maps? How can we get the navigator to navigate them? Where can we get the direction givers to guide them on the right way? The Bible says in Isaiah 43, 8, that the people of God who be shining, the glorious branch, spoken in Isaiah chapter 4, spoken in Isaiah 11, they will be reading the blind, showing them the way. Isaiah chapter 43 verse 8. They will read the blind to the right way. So, others are programmed. They cannot live without jealousy. They can murder people. There are so many people killed out of jealousy. The most murder cases is because of jealousy. Others are programmed, they live with jealous. They jealous so much that they murder people. They cannot let you see flourishing. They, be, they better murder you. Others are programmed to do witchcraft. 
program to do witchcraft? What are we saying? What are we driving at? What is the focus of this message? How can you come out? You are there. You cannot control your smoking. You cannot control your drinking. You cannot control your desire of women. You cannot want to see a woman passing in front of you. Or you're always devoted in the social media booking women or glamorous images which are put there by the enemy to roast many. The enemy program women to do a lot of glamorous things on the internet to roast many men. So how can we come out of this slavery? There's a desire of smoking, desire of alcohol that you cannot live. That some people I used to see, they live in the, in the, in the shop for alcohol. They live in the bar. They sleep there, they spend all the day there. They carry without alcohol. How can we come out of this jail? Jesus saw the crowd and it was mercy on, had mercy on them. They were so harassed by the enemy. They didn't know themselves. They were helpless. Our children are helpless. When you see the children on the street, if, if, if a person or a neighbor or a good Samaritan see a baby of like uh, one year walking on the road, they take that uh, baby to police because the baby is helpless. The Bible says in James 1.27, the best gospel, the true gospel is helping the helpless, the orphan, helping the windows, helping the fatherless. Helping the harassed one. This is the true religion, a living pure life. And Jesus was asking in verse 30, 37 to 38 of Matthew chapter 9, that where can we get these direction givers to help these people? Where can we get the GPS to help these people? There's so many people who have been put in the social media as to guide people and telling you, come to Christ. When you open TikTok, you see somebody saying, come to Christ. When you open YouTube, come to Christ. When you open Facebook, come to Christ. These are the GPS Jesus was talking about. The voice is coming to you and say, come out. Come to Jesus. How can you come out? The main conclusion of this edification message to you there listening is that whether you are Christian or not Christian, even Christian, we are defeated most of the time by our body desire. There are so many Christians living defeated Christian life. So how can we come out of this jail? You are there, you are listening. The main focus, how do we come out of this harassment of the enemy? Herepressness and living without a shepherd, guide. Who is a shepherd? The Bible says in John chapter 10 that Jesus is the true shepherd who will never let see his children eaten by the lions. The Bible says in John chapter 9, 10 that Fake shepherd will let the lions eat the sheep and run away. Oh, lion is coming and run away. But the true shepherd, true shepherd of the sheep will not run away when he sees the lion. He will face it head on and fight it and protect his sheep. Who is this shepherd who will not let lion eat the sheep? It's, it's sheep. His sheep is Jesus. Jesus said in John 10, John chapter 10, I am the true shepherd. All the others come through the window, come through the cracks, are fake shepherd. They come through the back door. Fixed shepherd come through the back door. Who is Satan? Satan come through the back door to cheat. John 10, 10 say, Satan come to steal. He show you women. To steal with a good thing. He show you alcohol. He show you smoking. He show you gambling. He show you sport all the time. He show you just doing freelance things on social media without prayer, without depending on God. Satan steal and show good things. Satan was telling Jesus, I'll give you all my wealth. Stealing. I will give you all my riches and you worship me. Stealing. John 10.10, 10, Satan come to steal, then kill. He kill you. You are, you are you, who you are. You are a husband. Built by God to help your family. Built by God to build church of God. Built by God by, to support the community with your talent, either careers as a doctor, and also a gift in the church to support the church of God. He killed that and then destroy you. How does he destroy you? He make you live like life is alcohol, life is women, life is smoking, life is marijuana. He has destroyed you. Life is men, you live with mental illness all the time or depression, stress, you have been destroyed. John 10, 10, Satan come to steal, kill and destroy. But Jesus come, you may have life and full, and Jesus come, you may have life, and not only life, but full life, complete life with meaning and purpose that purpose and meaning and happiness that we look in other things it comes from god so to come out of this jail we need to depend on the true shepherd the shepherd john 
Matthew chapter 9 verse 38 that 7 to 38 the sheep were the people look like sheep and helpless many times we are made helpless like sheep without helpless Jesus is our God is our shepherd but if we come out of Jesus we become helpless we just walking without control and without direction Proverbs 29 verse 18 if you don't have direction from God revelation from God you walk without direction where people have no revelation of God, they walk recklessly without where they are. They don't know where they are going. They are just chasing leeches and they don't know within two years they will be dead and they go to hell. They are walking without direction. They are just chasing celebrity and worshiping celebrity and, and doing unnecessary things, uh, following, uh, depending on, on spot on it, depending on their own strength, not knowing they, they don't know where they will die and then they miss their heaven eternity. We are created to worship God and for God and be part of God's kingdom. But our body shows us other things or material things and even certain deceivers. So to come out of this helplessness, harassment by the enemy, walking without direction or sheep like sheep without a shepherd, we must come to Jesus. You are there, you are not receive Christ. You can't control your drinking, your smoking, your love for women, the desire to of, of other people's property, the stealing desire to steal other people's things. How can you come out of this and be satisfied with what you have is to come to Jesus. The Bible says in Luke 1, 37, that there is nothing impossible with God. Even the one you say, I cannot be able to leave alcohol. Alcohol, no. That is my air I breathe. Jesus said, all things are possible with God. Luke 1, 37. Only Christ can deliver us and make us useful people to ourselves, to our family, and to the community. Everyone, you and me, have a gift and talent to build people in the whole world and even to help our family. But the enemy want to make us useless depending on alcohol. Alcohol drive us. Alcohol, alcohol drive you. Other things drive you. And you become a useless person. You have been destroyed by the enemy. So, as we finish this edification message and encouragement, we quote Proverbs 29, 18, that where there is no revelation, where there is no guidance that comes from God, people walk without direction. They cast off restraint. They unrestrain. They, un un they walk without control. They walk without knowing where they are going, and they don't end up reaching the city. Just like people without GPS, and they are living in a town they don't know. Come to Jesus, and you have the GPS. The Bible says in Proverbs 3, 5 to 6, if you depend on God with all your heart, with all your mind, he will step up with you, guide you in the right path in this world and in the, in the next, that is heaven. Be blessed as you purpose to depend on Jesus, who is the true map we need, true GPS that will guide us to walk in the right way, that it's not alcohol, it is God, that you cannot live by bread alone, you cannot live by alcohol, but word of God, can make you a person, a person useful to yourself and to your family, a person useful to yourself and in the world. Depend on God and you never fail. Things of the world will fail you, but no one trusting God will ever fail. Be blessed.